it's Rachel here with Yarn at Play Crochet. I am doing a video series on Crochet Essentials 101 and what you need if you are an absolutely beginner and what you would need to have to get started. Obviously the things that you need to get started are a crochet hook and you need some yarn. Beyond that, everything else is, you know, you don't need right away necessarily. You probably do want to get some, uh, good like tapestry needles to weave in your ends but if you are just wanting to do some swatches just to get some basic stitches down you can always grab those from a craft store um, when you need them if you are on a budget and you're like what do I need you need yarn you need a hook can't crochet without those two things so I'm gonna do a little overview of four different styles of hook that I use my thoughts on all of these and what my recommendations would be. Um, I do yarn reviews all the time, and so you can get an idea of what my favorite yarns are, but ultimately any yarn when you're just getting started will do. I generally prefer um, big box store yarns just because they fit my budget best, and you can find some really nice quality stuff um, with big box yarns um, for not too bad of a price. There obviously are some gorgeous yarns out there that you will be drooling over and absolutely be in love with. Um, but generally speaking, if you're just starting out, you can just go to um, Michael's, Joann's, uh, Hobby Lobby, or even um, locally here to Michigan, like some of our bigger, like, um, Super center type stores like a Meyer store or a Walmart, you can get yarn and crochet hooks those places as well. So let's talk about the hooks that I have in front of me here. I do not personally crochet with hooks that are just the aluminum hook. Um, I had surgery on my wrist when I was a teenager and those my hands go numb pretty quickly when I crochet. And so I just kind of stay away from those because I know that I'm going to have issues with those. So let me talk about the hooks that I have here. And we're going to start from my least favorite, which is over here, to my most favorite, which is over here. And I'll tell you the reasons why um, I have these personal preferences. So these are um, hooks that I got off of Amazon. And I got, uh, I think it was a 10 hook set for like $7. So definitely affordable. If you are a beginner crocheter, this is a great place to start. It has a nice um, ergonomic handle to it. I'm a pencil hold, so I hold my hook like this. Lots and lots of people are knife hold, so they will hold their hook like this. But I learned holding it pencil, and that's what always has felt most natural to me. And so even with this grip here, it still feels very comfortable for me to hold in this fashion. If you can see the hook head on that and kind of see the finish on that, this is what you would call a boy style hook. So it has a tapered head right here. All of these hooks are boy style hooks. Um, I don't use the Sally Bait style hook personally. I just don't find it as comfortable to crochet with. So all of these are going to be boy style hooks. But with these hooks, even though they are a good deal as far as affordability goes, there is um, a lack of quality there. You can see, let me see if I get my camera to focus here, um, on the head, that aluminum head of the shaft, can you see kind of the right there? Those are kind of like the grind down marks. And so these hooks are not super smooth when going through the yarn. They're not bad definitely use them for quite a while before I upgraded, but they don't work quite as well. I do find myself having more issues with splitting with these hooks than I do with um, some of my other higher end crochet hooks. Um, and they just feel sticky almost um, when I'm running through the yarn. So they're a good place to start if you're a beginner and you don't want to invest money in nicer hooks. This is definitely a great option. Like I said, I think the whole set was like seven to $7 something on Amazon for 10 hooks, which is a really great deal. But if you're just starting out, this is a good place to start. If you want to upgrade, I will talk about these in just a minute. I, one thing that I do want to say about this handle is that these handles, well, maybe it won't on this one. Nope, it will. These handles can pull off. So, this one is not very loose. Here, let me try a different hook that I have here. Um, 
The handles on these here, this one is more loose. They do pull off of the hook. So the metal shaft does go all the way to the end of the grip, but as they become looser, the more you work with them, because these will loosen up as you work with them, you might find this kind of, the grip kind of moving up and down the shaft slightly as you crochet. I find that super irritating, and so that was what motivated me to upgrade my hooks. And I did a lot of research into hooks when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do and what I wanted to spend because I'm on a tight budget and I don't want to invest in a bunch of hooks that I'm not going to like. Um, so <clears throat> this is a good place to start, but I'll tell you why I upgraded. That's one of the main reasons why I upgraded that. And I'd been hearing a lot about these different finishes on these other hooks. And so I'll tell you about that. This next hook here is Clover Band. This is a soft touch crochet hook. So the handle is flat. The handle is flat and it has this little tiny little rubber grippy here and this handle is plastic. It's sturdy though. I think that if you used these for quite a long time, you might have issues with the plastic handle eventually breaking. I've never had that issue. Um, and you can see not only is the hook head a different color, but it has that brushed finish to it. Now clover hooks in general are my favorite hooks because of this brushed finish on the aluminum shaft of the hook. It glides beautifully through yarn. It does a really fantastic job and it helps me crochet faster because I'm not fighting with my hook to get through the yarn. So these are a great option. Um, these, I want to say I got this hook for... Oh, I should have double checked the price on this one. I double checked on these, um, but I should have double checked the price on this one. I want to say I got this hook for like seven or eight dollars for one hook. So you can get a whole set of 10 for the price that one hook of these will cost you. I think it's definitely worth it to upgrade your hook, especially if this is something that you do all the time. Um, I think you'd be really happy upgrading your hook. Um, but this is the next one that I tried. I did find, I was hoping that the handle, me being a pencil hold crocheter, wouldn't cause me that hand numbness that I was concerned about, but it did wind up becoming a problem after a while. Um, the grip on this just wasn't great for me and my style of crochet. I'm sure there are plenty of other pencil hold crocheters who do just fine with this. I just have a unique situation um, with that past injury in my wrist. So um, these are really great hooks definitely glide, glide beautifully through yarn. A lot of um, crocheters swear by these soft touch ones. They're really great. Highly recommend these if you are looking to upgrade. Now, this next one here, this is a tulip crochet hook. And this one is going to be very similar to our last one, which is the Clover Amour hook. But you can see uh, the difference of the handle grips on these. So I'm going to hold these so you can see they have very similar handle grips, um, but the tulip has this little bump right here on the grip, and then this is more flat, whereas on the Clover Amore, it's just flat and there's no bump. But it does have a bit of a raised, slightly raised backside to it here to give your hand a little bit more to grip onto. Now, if we're only talking about grips and we're not talking about the actual hook, tulips are my favorite. Um, they're really great quality hooks. They're a Japanese company, as is Clover. Um, and for me, being a pencil hold, that little bump right there is really, really nice to hold the hook as I crochet. These are my preferred um, hooks as far as that the, the um, handle goes. But even though... This hook, well, it looks like this one got a little bit scratched up. One of my kids must have got into it and chewed on it because I have itty bitty babies. But this is definitely a very smooth, discounting those scratches, um, a very smooth hook to work with. It glides great through the yarn. It does a really nice job. But the finish on the tulip hooks with that brushed just glide through the yarn a smidge better. 
Um, I definitely really like these tulip hooks. I would not be upset if I got a whole set of these. I would definitely use them, but they are not my 100% favorite hook just because that finish. It's still super glidey, still super smooth, but it's just not brushed. And so it doesn't have that same glide through the yarn as the clover hooks do. So that brings me to my absolute favorite hooks, which are the Clover Amour crochet hooks. They have that brushed finish on the hook, which glides through the yarn just beautifully. And even though it doesn't have that bump on the grip like it does with the tulip, I can still hold these and crochet with these for a very long time before I have any issues. And unlike, even though this has a silicone grip, unlike these silicone grips on the cheapies from Amazon, this does not slide off. This is not going anywhere. It is very well secured and that metal goes all the way up to right about there, which is the same as it was in this. This metal comes down to just past that little hole right there. So these are my hooks that I use all the time. I recently just bought a full set of these on Amazon. They went on sale and I managed to snag a set for $31. I think that a set of 10 for these right now, I think it, when I checked it earlier today, it's running around $50 right now. Original retail price for a set of 10 is um, $75. So 50 bucks is not a bad deal, but if you really want to get a good set and you want a good deal and you're willing to be patient, I would wait for the price to come down. Um, these are really wonderful crochet hooks. I use them pretty much exclusively. I might still grab for these two every once in a while. I never use these. Um, I avoid these. I, I really don't like working with them anymore. And it's because of the grip being slippy, you can see how it slips just like that. And because this finish, it feels it, like just feeling the difference between these two. Like, can you see how my finger kind of like skips? Like the finish almost feels sticky, whereas where I put the same amount of pressure on this hook, my finger does not skip or bump when I rub it up and down. So yeah, I have a lot of these because I wound up buying two sets because I lost a few and I didn't want to just buy individual hooks to replace them. So I have probably sitting on 20 crochet hooks right now that I do not use, which is a bummer. I should donate these and give these away to people who want to learn how to crochet so that they can still get some good use because they're still fully functional. They're great, but not not what I want to use when I crochet for multiple hours a day. So these are my recommended hooks. And I'll show you the case that I got off of Amazon to put my hooks into, which is this case right here. Um, and it does a great job. I have my little um, needle holders here for my uh, darning needles and my fine thread needles. And it comes um, with these and the Amore hooks fit really well into these. I will say that if you got a hook case and you got these cheaper ones on Amazon, these ones did not fit nearly as well in here as the Clover and More hooks do. Um, the Tulip hooks fit in here and the Clover Soft Touch all fit in here. Just perfect. Um, so this is the front half of it and then you open it and then there's the back half here. So these were all really skinny and flat so you can see I ripped the seams out of some of these to give a really big place for hooks and this is where I will keep um, my hooks that are this brand because I don't have the super big hooks in the clover right now but I do have some super big hooks in the Amazon ones so I don't use super chunky yarns that often but when I do I'm going to keep these around so that I don't have to buy new hooks to use my big chunky yarns with I'll eventually upgrade these as well I just haven't done it yet and so these still have a place but you can see this is a 10 millimeter hook and this would not have fit because it was as skinny as this little slide here. So I just took the seams out and then this fits in there, that big old hook. No problem at all. Got my little fabric pen for when I draw faces on my amigurumi so I know where I am embroidering. Has a little pouch here so you can keep some stitch markers in here or whatever you need. Looks like I have some embroidery thread for amigurumi faces. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's got these here and 
a lot of people put like little yarn snips in there. I just have these. They're like um, for crochet or for crafting wire and they cut yarn fine as well. So why do I need two things? Because I use doll wire um, for Miami grooming projects. So instead of carrying scissors and a uh, wire snip, I just carry the wire snip. Um, so yeah, that is uh, talk about hooks. Um, there will definitely be more yarn chat and I will go over the basics of yarn, like yarn thickness, um, and yarn weights and like quality of yarns, fibers, cause yarns can get confusing, especially if you're just starting out. Um, uh, but that is basically my talk about hooks. Um, if, tell me what your favorite hooks are. Do you have a favorite hook that you use? Uh, have you tried any of these brands? And if so, what one did you like best? If you want any more information about where you can snag these hooks, any of the ones that I talked about, they will be linked in the description box below. But for now, I think I'm just going to leave that there. I hope this was helpful. I hope that if you were trying to figure out what kind of hooks you want to get, that you can see the side-by-side -side comparison and have more information as you go to shop. So thanks so much. As always, if you found this helpful, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.